Hey everyone, it is Friday, December 9th, I think, 2016, and it's time to go to work on music. And today's going to be a super short session, super chill, I just decided to take it real easy today, not stress too much about time, I had a big workout last night, and I'm just um, letting my body recover, and also had a tough practice session yesterday, like I shared with you guys, so. Um, yeah, I was thinking about trying to get a little bit extra done today, but I think I'm just going to save it for tomorrow, and I've just realized, like, Maybe I'm pushing myself a little too hard. Sometimes I feel that way and then I back off and then I realize it was fine, but yeah. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do today is just do a little bit of online classwork and then do a little bit of guitar work and then probably not worry about the set too much um, and just save that for tomorrow. So uh, I'll let you guys know what I do. Here we go. Okay, interesting uh, writing concepts via this video I'm working through right now, just a few minutes at a time, talking about even when you're um, discussing or describing things that are difficult to formulate into objects, like abstract ideas or something like a molecule, to use analogy or to just search for objects in the physical world that you can still put in the writing to give your reader something to see, which I think is really interesting. So I'm going to try that out uh, with the next song I write and just see how it goes. Um, then I was reading more of the Michael Beinhorn blog, talking about artist development, which is a really interesting topic, and he's talking about how, um, you know, there's risk in any, in any creative endeavor, and, and, you know, sometimes you're going to invest in, in things to develop people and develop their talents and skills, and it's not going to pay off, and that's the definition of risk, but when it does pay off, it usually pays off really big. So, I'm excited to get deeper into that article and just you know, start to apply that to my own situation and investing in myself and just recognizing that there's always risk involved in those situations and if the upside outweighs the downside then you should go for it and if the downside's too big then you stop and, you know, sometimes that's a day-to-day -day thing, so really interesting, excited to go deeper into that and uh, now I'm just going to do some quick guitar work and wrap up the session. <laughs> 